Uh, we've been reporting on several cases of harmful algae spotted in local lakes and ponds lately. I'm Ariana Bennett. And I'm Alexander Ray. Kristen is on assignment. Thank you for being here with us at 430. With more of these algal blooms appearing, we wanted to find out more about how neighbors can tell if the water is safe or not. Jake Reno joins us live from the Washoe Lake after speaking with a task force that is dedicated to addressing this issue. Jake, what did you learn? Well, blue-green algae is actually very common in bodies of water, and it's also good for the ecosystem. However, too much of it can create harmful blooms. These blooms aren't always easy to spot, but there are a few things to look out for. It can look like somebody maybe spilled bright green paint in the water. It can look like there's grass clippings in the water. It can look, make the water look like pea soup. Harmful algal blooms thrive off of stagnant water, heat, and too much nitrogen or phosphorus. Exposure to toxic algal blooms can cause symptoms for humans and pets, such as skin irritation, nausea, vomiting, and more. The Harmful Algal Bloom Task Force is constantly doing testing and wants people to double-check bodies of water before entering. Uh, we recommend looking at the uh, HAB ash dashboard that's on our website. Um, if before you go out recreating, it has a list of the water bodies that are on there, so you can look those up and see what um, advisories are in place for that area. To learn more about the HAB dashboard and other ways to keep yourself informed, head over to our website at 2news.com. Covering the story live from Washoe Lake, Jake Reno, 2News Nevada.